All right, guys. So Candace Owens is on the roll with these interviews, and I love it because she is out here exposing the demonic agenda that is going on in our government and all over our world. And she comes out with Tristan Tate, who I also am a fan of. I love Andrew Tate and Tristan Tate. They're, I don't agree with everything they say. Um, I used to get triggered by Andrew Tate back then, not because I was ever a feminist, but because I was dating a guy that like really loved Andrew Tate. And I was just like, every time I would see Andrew Tate, I would think of him because it didn't end well. But now, you know, it's it's healed. I'm fine with it. So I really appreciate, though, what... Um, what Tristan and Andrew Tate do for um, for our, our country um, because they've done a, a lot of good stuff, like cre- making men more masculine because we need that. Um, as much as we, we think it's misogynistic, it's not. I feel like men lately have not been the leaders that they used to be. I think a lot of my dad, my dad is a very empowered man. Um, he's a man of God. He's not abusive in his correction. He's not misogynistic. He appreciates and loves women. Um, and he really takes his role as a man and, uh, and also allows my mom to flourish in her role, which I think is so beautiful and I love about both of my parents and how they just, like their marriage is so godly because they actually took the biblical roles of what god said a marriage should be and what a man should do and what a woman should do and i think that tristan and andrew tate are bringing that back into our society which is it was so so called for and i think that and i know that when men are good leaders women are able to flourish better because it's not good for men to be um weak it's not good for us as women we might think that we want that but we don't we want strong men in our society because they are naturally just the leaders that's just the truth they naturally have certain abilities that we don't have as women like we have certain abilities that they don't have as men we have certain strengths and god put both strengths in men and women um so that we can come together and be more powerful together the bible says that two is better than one and kenneth owens has been such a voice um speaking out on this topic of against feminism and uh, modern feminism and just talking about what the elites are doing and this is talking about um the pedophile ring that they're they're gonna speak on that i didn't even know it was a thing until i watched his podcast i was like what like the lies that we have believed growing up y'all it is ridiculous we are being indoctrinated and we people want us to become atheists and not believe in god anymore and of course that's the devil's perfect plan and who is who is he going to use the government for that and you know the education system of course he's going to use that so this is a clip of them talking about the pedophile ring totally insane to to see people that feel rushed and it's because of this psychological trauma and psychology and this is kind of another thing that triggered the pedophile defenders who are the mainstream media today yes so i started digging up sigmund freud and realized he was a pedophile <laughs> his dad was a pedophile his grandson was yeah. a pedophile it's a family of pedophiles and this is gets into that broader point about what alex jones was saying is that you know they did studies to see that how to create a psychopath yeah you know i now believe they are creating leaders I, there's a reason why everyone in the west is a homosexual man yeah like a, a, a closeted homosexual not even closet i mean zelensky and, and is all, as gay as you can possibly and they're all from the be. wef they're, they're, all, all, WF. they're all groomed and grown in exactly Weird. the same environment Stories, yeah. you know, the Brigitte Macron thing, yeah. obviously that's a dude. The skull and bone uh, and it's a dude this. that at the very least, the press won't even touch the fact that it's at least statutory rape, right? It's at, at least, least, yeah, it's at least rape. statutory rape and right? grooming. At and least. which is not normal because yeah. most 40-year-old women are not like attracted to 13-year-old kids, right? And they've tried to lie about the timeline to obscure that. And then on top of that, you learn that Macron was raised by his grandma, who also happened to work at a trans clinic, one of the first trans clinics ever to perform surgeries. Yeah. It's like, dude, do you understand that what's happening is they are essentially, and this is Sigmund Freud was a Kabbalist, and they believe in bisexuality, they they you know worship Baphomet. They are trying to use psychology to introduce, and I read this in a book by um, a Jewish historian, David Bacon, to introduce, make their religion the religion of the world, yes. right? Which is a pedophilic, pedoph- pedophile-centric religion that believes in demons, it believes in child sacrifice, and it is the reason that we have the circumstances that we are in today. And most people won't be able to find this history. And they think Sigmund Freud was like a hero. You know, my favorite video in the entire world. It's not a clip on, from your podcast. I apologize. My favorite video clip in the whole world is a clip just after I got arrested. Because there is a man who works for the BBC sitting behind a news desk telling the world that me and my brother are dangerous, dangerous sexual criminals. That man's name is Hugh Edwards who turned out to be a pedophile, and now he's been arrested and confessed and been um, uh, pled guilty 
to all this child pornography and having category A sexual images of children. I'm not going to tell you what that means, but please look it up. Um, so it's my favorite clip in the world. There's a literal pedophile, a literal child pornographer sitting behind a news desk telling the world that me and my brother are dangerous, dangerous sexual criminals. And that will forever be my favorite video. And if that doesn't confirm everything you just said, I don't know what else does. Like you said, they accuse Michael Jackson of being, being a pedophile because they are pedophiles. The people in these establishments are the most depraved people that exist. And they are all under this cosh of blackmail. They're, they all do these things. Everyone knows they do these things. And they're happy to feed one or two of them to the lions every now and again. Uh, when they get exposed, but they'll point the finger at, I don't, I don't know what they're going to accuse you of next. A black American woman, it's it's, it's much harder than it's, a man it's, like- It's getting than, tricky. They're yeah. trying a lot a of A man stuff. like me with a complicated sexual past, it's easy to just say, oh, well, no, he was a rapist. Mm -hmm. Well, he was he was this. And men, men are much easier to attack. I don't know what they're going to attack you with. Yeah. But when criminal charges or whatever are launched against you, I'll be the first to defend you because I will know that they're bull. Mm -hmm. And they're looking. Yeah. I mean, they're they're clawing through everything. I mean, my person that works with me told me that he believes they have like a PI on me, uh, like a, a private oh, investigator, sure. yeah. just like crawling through my life. And I'm going, this is insane. It's because I'm I'm waking people up to the fact that pedophiles are in power. Yes. They are literally in power, and that is intentional because then they can be controlled while they are in power, and they are also exhibiting signs of a psychopathology pathology that lets them know that they will do harm to the masses and feel nothing because they were themselves, many of them, raped when they were children. Yep. It's not a coincidence that Justin Trudeau is gay. It, it, Obama, gay. Mm -hmm. Zelensky, gay. Emmanuel Macron, gay and married to a trans man who molested him when he was a child. And that despite the overwhelming evidence, like I, for me, the litmus test now is like Brigitte Macron. I'm like, I if you want to figure out who is a fraud in media, there is no way to read that six part series and go through it <laughs> and come out of it being like, no, totally legit. Like, yeah. this, these are just rumors. It's like one picture of yourself in yeah. your first 30 years of living, please. Yeah. And they show me her brother. Where's your brother? Where is it? Where is John it? Michel I'll show you my. I'll show you my brother. Yeah. Yeah. Where's your, where's, where's, your where's your brother? Yeah. It's it's actually honestly that simple, and that's the crazy thing. It, it would be so easy to dismiss this. It would be so easy to make it go away and then just sue you for everything you you have. Mm -hmm. It would be the easiest thing in the world if it weren't true. Right. And and it is true. And that is very terrifying. And part of it, I think, that is part of the psychology. Is I think it's very scary for people to come to terms with the fact that everything's an illusion. Mm. That they have been always invested in yellow journalism, that Sigmund Freud was the father of treating people, like learning how to gaslight people. Like all these women were saying that they were being raped. And he said, I'm going to create psychoanalysis and tell these women that, no, they're just attracted to their dads. No, they were being raped when they were seven years old, because that's what you do uh, when you worship the Kabbalah, right? And then he was like, oh my gosh, this this can work. Then that became propaganda. Like whenever somebody got caught doing something or somebody was about to come out and say something, they would diagnose that person as either insane, like they're totally yep. insane, they're yep. on drugs. And then they'd have their friends in the press create this propaganda and people believe it. They go yep. after a Kanye, they go after a Tristan Tate and Andrew Tate because they've realized the voices that cannot be controlled have to be shut up. Some people killed. Do you think they've overplayed their hand? I do. We'll start looking and they realize, hey, this kind of looks a lot like what's happening right now in the West, they will realize that we're fighting true evil. But I think it's biblical. And I want to talk to you about your faith. Go ahead. I know I'm, I'm ready for this. So I, I, theory, yeah, you've, you've, you've been bullying my brother, I hope. Yeah. Expecting. No, I'm going to. Good. But he, my theory is that part of the reason that there are so many wars is because they're destroying history. Right? Yes. They're destroying old relics. They're not, you're not, you don't know where you come from. The fact that I, do, I can't go back more than a couple of generations yep. because I'm a black American. It allows, it's the so. largest, war is the largest human trafficking operation in the world. But the people that are behind these wars know exactly. They can trace their family lineage back to the Bible, yes. right? And so they're confusing everybody else because there's something, there's a wisdom that comes with ancestry. The, the Bible tells us who who and what these tribes were. If you don't know what your tribe is, it allows them to have a tremendous amount of power over you. You don't realize they're keeping their tribe intact while they're essentially using multicultural and war and open borders to just kind of deplete everybody else's, yeah. which I think is fascinating. And then when I started studying more about like the Kabbalah and how this came from Babylon, you know, and we're kind of seeing the same thing happen right now. Like Hollywood has become Babylon. It's these false idols, the things that are happening. 
it really actually really tethered me to my Christianity. Like yeah, really bet. brought me back to I like, bet. okay, this is and will forever be a holy war. And that's why you insist on everybody being an atheist, even though you believe in child sacrifice, exactly. you believe in the Bible. So and I, and, 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 I, and I was, I was, I, I man, I was shamefully, shamefully thought I was an atheist for a long time. Me too. And um, God, how did, how, I can't even, if I could talk to my younger self and probably punch him in the face, you know, I would. But yeah, everything that's happening in the world even, uh, you know, I am labeled uh, agent of Russian disinformation yeah. by the Romanian government. Oh, perfect. Wonderful. And uh, my crime was speaking to people who came across the border from Ukraine. That's it. On Instagram, asking them questions live on Instagram. That's why I was labeled an agent of Russian disinformation. So what these people were all what paid actors, paid actresses. A lot of them knew exactly what was happening and why they were fleeing to Romania. A lot of people knew the reasons. But again, uh, child trafficking, human trafficking, all the orphanages in Ukraine are empty. Why? Where have the kids gone? This is something that people need to look into. I'm not sure if you looked into it yourself. Yeah. You know, everyone's worried about, oh, well, the, the men are dying and 500,000 Ukrainians have lost their lives and it's a war that can't be won against the, war, the Russian war machine, etc. Well, Russia have moved in and taken the territories they've taken, tried to reestablish them. Obviously, Russian Orthodox Christianity is, is legal in the places that, 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 uh, that they've taken. Look into, and I'm not going to speak too much on the topic because I'm on the border of Ukraine and, you know, it's, it's quite, it's a sensitive, it's a sensitive subject in this part of the world, but look into the orphanages of Ukraine. Look into the orphanages that were run by the church. They took care of all these kids. Where have all the kids gone? Now the church is being banned. Now their voices are being silenced. It's human trafficking all over again. And that's why they will accuse people like me and Andrew of human trafficking. Some bimbo who was here for four days made some story up and they'll push it and push it and push it and push it. And no one looks into what's happening with every war zone on the planet. Mm -hmm. The kids go missing. The kids go missing. And, th and that's absolutely terrifying. And then when you add to that, and that's why I've been giving people the actual books and the resources, and I'm glad that you brought up NASA and the satanic origins. Like I'm so like the moon landing didn't happen, get out of my face. It's yeah. so stupid. It's like totally a psychological operation because they just keep evaporating money saying it's going to NASA and nobody knows what's going. It's just a yeah. black budget. Yeah. And it also got people to invest in the idea of worshiping man mm. and science over worshiping like I love what you said recently. I've left the cult of science. I'm glad you loved it because the media said that I was the dumbest person in the entire world. No. That's how I knew I was smart. No, I love Yeah, exactly. You know, when <laughs> the media that's says, how I knew I was yeah, on to it. Yeah. When the media says something, yeah. Whenever the media say like the opposite is usually the truth. Mm -hmm. Um that that's that's my but when you said I've left the cult of science, I never thought of it that way. Because I used to be one of these nerds, atheists, you know, science is the be all and end all, it explains everything. Um, yeah, I've left the cult of science as well. Um, unless I've studied in a certain field and I understand that certain field as well as the scientists who are telling me things do, then I'm not going to take your word for it anymore. It's as simple as that. And you made this, you made the comment about the flat earth and, you know, there's a bunch of people on the internet who are going to love me talking about this. However, but it's not about flat earth or not flat earth. I, no one understood the comment you made. No, they understood no, it. Yeah. Well, they, they, they tried to, they tried to spin it. But your point is, I'm not taking your word for anything anymore. And uh, I completely, completely agree with that. I mean, I hold a, bun a bunch of beliefs and I believe in obviously a lot, a lot of what scientists have discovered over the years. And, you know, there's, there's good scientists and there's bad scientists. There's the COVID vaccine and there's Jonas Salk with his polio vaccine, which is maybe a slightly more moral than the, I mean, we go down this rabbit hole, if you like, slightly more moral cause than today's COVID vaccine. And I'll pick and choose what I believe in but I'm not taking your word for it. Right. And, and that's and the that's, way to do it. Because everything I've realized about science has led to, it's so funny, people don't believe in religion. They think, you know, witches and the whole concept of people, curses and spells and all of this stuff is reserved for Harry Potter. And then I say to them, oh, you don't believe in potions? What do you think vaccines are? Yeah. You're being poisoned. What do you think alcohol is? Obviously, all of this stuff is real. You just don't realize that it is, they are they are battling for your spirit. But, and I believe that the vaccines that are being introduced, because that was my huge awakening. Thank God I was vax injured yes. when I was 20. Because then I was suddenly like, why did I get this vaccine? That was like a weird fee. I just like, they sh did a commercial, said I needed it. I, then I looked into the statistics and the statistics were a complete nonsense. Yeah. I, there was zero yep. fear that anything was going to happen to me for yep. this Gardasil vaccine. Next thing I know, I'm like having a seizure on the floor. Yeah. And then right then I said, okay, I'm all done with like, trust the science, trust the doctors. Yep. Um, kind of feels ridiculous to think that your baby's born wrong and science can fix them. Immediately they come needs on the God got this wrong. Yeah. Right. And people believe this because they've intentionally made us atheistic in this, th via the school system. Yep. The people, again, they worship the Kabbalah, created the idea of rationalism, the enlightenment. The enlightenment was not the enlightenment. It was the darkening. Yes, okay? I It's agree. the darkening of humanity. People now don't know where they come from. They think they derive from apes because, I don't know, I guess Charles 
Charles Darwin said so. Who knows? And, but and, now suddenly they are invested in man. And then the age that was completely ruled by by God and religion was uh, is now the Dark Ages. The Dark Ages. So yeah. So the Dark Ages and the Enlightenment. You're right. They they did a bait and switch there. They did a ba- they did a bait and switch on everybody. Mm-hmm. It's interesting because the whole interview, this is just them like just talking about um, history and exposing things that they learned at a young age. And then as they got older, they realized like, oh, that was actually wrong. And how we are indoctrinated at a really young age to believe that science is over God, that science overpowers God. And why? Like we never question, like question why, because even with NASA, when they would put po- when they would um, have science books released um I, um, a lot like or history books it would talk about um charles darwin and, and like they taught me that when i was growing up in hi- in middle school high school and you know i knew it, it defied um my belief in god but i didn't really question it because i wasn't really like a strong christian until i got older and they would always uh, people that were atheists would always act like science was a lot more powerful than god when i'm like uh, first of all humans created science like humans thought of science and then they would like they would say that well humans created the bible so it's like at the end of the day it just takes faith of which one you're going to believe because science is a whole religion as well just like how they said they left the cult of science that also has a that also has to do with a certain religion because you're choosing to have faith and to believe these people that you've actually never seen actually perform the study it all is faith when you think about it the fact that you even believe that this the universe is expanding it's like have you ever actually seen it physically expand or are you having faith that the footage and the videos that they that they're showing you aren't aren't just you know um, if, if ed- edits that they're making you know on like software, but you're having faith that there really is a galaxy expanding, that the universe is expanding. You're ha- you're having faith and trusting in these scientists. And why is it that when the Bible has been proven? thousands of years through year through generations after generation that the bible is reality and that no matter how much things change the core principles of the bible always remain the same that it it says that humans are imperfect that they're in need of a god and that they're in need of a moral high ground to actually act accordingly why is it that we question the bible more than we question science when really we shouldn't um, and I love that Cancel Owens and Tristan Tay are just talking about how they were just lied to for so many years and how there is a pedophile ring happening um, in, in, our, in our country. And that's scary. That's definitely like they target after the children because obviously the devil, he knows what a child can become. And the same thing that he did with Moses and Joseph where he was trying to kill Moses at a very early age because he knew what, who Moses was going to become. And it's the same thing now where he's trying to scar children through these pedophiles that are up are in the higher ups and have so much control. He's trying to scar them very early on so that when they get older, they won't be who God wants them to become. And that's why we need people like Kenneth Owens and Tristan Tate calling out this BS, calling out this demonic agenda that's going on of child sacrifice. Even though that was an ancient practice, it's still happening with the, with abortion. Abortion is a modern day child sacrifice. And then the real the other aspects of child sacrifice where they're legit taking little babies and killing them in different parts of the world um i love just how they just talk and go in depth with it and how this is being actually platformed because i feel like a lot of people are listening to this so yeah this is crazy it's ridiculous you y'all and this is why we need jesus more than ever Um, If you haven't accepted Christ as your Lord and Savior, you need to right now because he is coming back soon. And God, you know, he is being graceful by giving us time, but there's only much time that he will give. At the end of the day, he will come. And it's it's up to you. You know, you have your free will, whether you're going to choose the world or you're going to choose to serve him. Who are you going to choose to believe? Will you believe the cult of science that has created so much controversy, so many pedophiles, so much evil in our world? Or are you going to believe in God in the God of the Bible? Are you who are you going to choose? And that's ultimately your choice. So let me know. Let me know your choice, y'all. And I'm out.